Hi Chip and I, welcome back to my channel. We'd just like to thank you for joining me and supporting the channel. I really do appreciate all your views, likes, subscribes, etc. So if you enjoy this content, please feel free to leave behind a like or a subscribe. This reading can be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Okay, Gems, September. Let's see what's happening for us, Gems, in the month of September. Oh, there's two cards there. And the last one. Okay, starting off the month, there's a lot of things we're thinking about here, Gemini, with the Seven of Cups. It can be seen as a somewhat scattered energy. The Seven of Cups is about thinking about a lot of things, but this is things you're emotionally attached to. Now, this might be a person, it might be a third party situation, it might be a, um, you feel like you're at a crossroads, there's a lot of choices around you, but I feel as though you're being carried away in a lot of different directions here, Gemini. So with the Seven of uh, Cups, it can be um, a, a water sign here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, which has also come up in the form of the Death card. You might be emotionally choosing between one of these signs, or you might feel emotionally unsure about something that's happening um, that's very, very close to you. There could be things happening within the subconscious or things from the past here as well. The Death card can bring things from the past, past people, past um, decisions, etc. So... The Seven of Cups can really be you. There's a lot of choice potentially happening here. And the silhouetted figure, I almost feel like it symbolizes the subconscious mind. So there might be a lot happening here around you subconsciously, okay? You're, you're being pulled in different directions. Or you're still unsure about a connection. Maybe it's a new opportunity. Maybe it's something that's been offered to you. But there's, you know, you're trying to justify something here. You might be talking to someone about it. Could be a water sign, could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, but there's something you're trying to discuss, but there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of things you still need to know or need to find out about whatever this is that's happening around you. The death card can also bring confusion. It is it is symbolic of change, reformation, or possibly even the past. It could also be secrets that come to the limelight or skeletons in the closet. Now, this could be your own skeletons here, Gem, or this could be someone you're dealing with. In particular, if you are dealing with a Scorpio here, Gemini, um, there's a very big decision that you're going to need to make with this person. Could also be a fellow air sign, so a fellow Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. If you have been dealing with one of these signs, there is a massive change or a shift that's taking place. Whether this is a friendship, whether this is a relationship, a marriage, um, etc., you know, a, a business collaboration as well, there's a very important decision because you will be at a crossroads. It could also be your past coming back in, okay? Some of you might be choosing between your past and your future. I do feel there's something around you here um, that is new and exciting and you might have been waiting for something like this for a long time here Gemini and you might uh, that clarity might come to you towards the end of the month um, but there is a very very important decision in particular because you are the two of swords you know you're ruled by this uh, by the uh, the dualness of the twins so I sense that it could be um, a, a very major decision that you need to make uh, in regards to this. But I do feel for a lot of you, it's choosing between your past and your future. And there's the offer. Okay, it could be a Pisces that's come up as well. But, you know, this could be loss or transition. There's an ending taking place here, Gemini. It could be a heartbreak. It could be an ending of a relationship. Um, there could be sadness here. It could be something you didn't see coming, Gemini. Okay, it could really throw a spanner into the works. Maybe you didn't see this coming. Maybe you didn't think this would happen this way, but there's something that's going to shock or even surprise you, okay? And it's coming to the surface in a very powerful way. But the death card can also bring new beginnings. So this is why I think the notion of the two swords, death can go either way. It's symbolic of loss, but it's symbolic of something new that's being birthed. So a major decision between the past and the present or something you didn't see coming, you're going to have to decide between. You do possibly have an offer coming through here from a Pisces, could be a Sag or a Scorpio, but the Page of Cups can represent the sign of a Pisces here. Now, this could be a new offer of love coming through for some of you. It might be coming from someone younger or someone who's much more eager to get things going emotionally uh, with you. So they're very keen, they're very emotionally attached to you already, um, but I feel as though you make them feel very whole, very complete. 
Uh, look, this could also be a, um, and I say that because it's the Two of Cups underneath with the Temperance card, could be a very powerful twin flame connection that you might be choosing between or one that might be coming into your life around the time of September. Uh, the Page of Cups can also be fickleness, okay, flightiness. We tend to be a little bit indecisive about a lot of things, Gemini. Uh, it takes us a while to think about uh, what we want and think about how we want. But I do think for the most part, you'll find that throughout the month, you're going to be at these stages where you don't know whether to proceed or you don't know whether to stop or just have things ease up or slow down. There's going to be a lot of back and forth, I feel, around you uh, during this time. But look, it could be an offer of new friendship that's coming in as well, but it's something you've waited for a very long time here, Gemini. Uh, and it's coming up around you, possibly towards the end of September. Um, but look, there is a potentially an important meeting or interview that's taking place. There might be a lot of questions around that. So if it is like a job interview, if it is like... Um, uh, a meeting because you're trying to work things out with someone from your past, um, if it's in relation to business, there's going to be a lot of questions and you're going to feel somewhat unsettled about it. It's almost like you're not going to get the clarity you believe you're des you deserve or you believe you should be at at this stage in your connection or in your career. And it's going to leave a lot of questions, okay? It might raise more questions than answers. And I do feel as though you might not be um, feeling very adamant about something to press forward with it. And maybe you need to take your time here. Maybe you need to take as much time as possible to really understand what's happening here around you. Now, it might be with an earth, earth sign here, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. There might be discussions, negotiations, or sacrifices that need to take place. But these sacrifices might not necessarily sit well with you, or they may not necessarily sit well with the person that is conducting these negotiations or sacrifices with you. But it could also point to important business meetings and things like that. So interviews and business meetings, possibly past employers getting back in touch with you, wanting to poach you. Um, it can be sales and promotions, offers and counter offers. So up to two to three offers could come in around you as well uh, in the financial realm, anything to do with new clients. Uh, but there's a lot of negotiations happening with money, uh, assets and things of that nature. But you're also, there's something about selling or promoting or advocating something. And that might come up in the middle of September here for you. Let's go down to that two of swords energy. Now this is you or possibly another uh, uh, air sign around you. So fellow gem, Aquarius or Libra, it is a card of indecisiveness. Okay. It is a card of having your swords drawn. It is reservations. So you might be feeling you're very, uh, you've got a lot of reservations about something. And in one way, I think some of you are blocking something new entering in your life, Gemini. Now, whether this is conscious, whether this is subconscious, there's something that, believe it or not, in one way or the way you're coming across is actually quite closed off. And of course, this won't resonate with everyone because I feel like, you know, there's so many Geminis out there. It, you're either going one way or the other, but there's a there's a fork in the road. Um, there's a division. There's a choice that you're going to have to make. Um, and I do think it's something connected with your past somehow or things that were previously unknown or hidden in the subconscious or had an air of mystery around them because that's what Scorpio energy is. But if you are connecting with like a friend or a worker or a relationship person that's under the sign, I do think there's a major decision happening here and it's either to, to end or to proceed forward. Um, it's not going to be a decision you're going to take lightly, Gemini. I feel like the signs, because of these emotional cards that have come up here, I really feel like there's a lot happening with you and it's definitely something that's going to pull at your heartstrings. So it's not something you actively want to do, but you know it needs to be done and it needs to be done around this time. Um... I mean, so that's that's uh, that's quite interesting here with the Two of Swords. A fork in the road, two different paths. Um, you know, you're crossing paths with someone for a reason here. You might hear from someone from the past. There's still a lot of unanswered questions and they might want to talk or connect with you again. There might be something important they need to say. Um, they might feel someone scattered or they have some sort of offer to give to you. Uh, you've possibly waited to hear from them for a long time, Gemini. 
um, the temperance card is it's it's a virtuous card. It's it's patience. It's resilience. It's it's being temperamental in a certain situation. You know, it's gauging things well. And I mean, it is Sagittarius energy, and Sagittarius energy is very honest, very upfront. Um, it's very straightforward. Um, so someone or you might say something just completely straight up, just no hesitations. Just complete and utter honesty is coming up, coming in around you, especially towards the end of September. It could be someone that's trying to mediate your situation, in particular someone under the sign of a Sagittarius here. The angel with the water here and the sunrise, I feel like it's divine intervention. I feel like you've waited for someone to come back or for someone to connect with you or for someone from the past or you've been waiting for this to, to, to make a certain decision. It's been it's been a long time coming, Gemini. You've waited for this for so long and it's coming in around you at the end of September. Um, is, it a, is it about a twin flame love connection? It could absolutely be because the temperance card has strong potential for that. Um, it could also be mediating that love connection uh, together with this person. Um, but I really feel like it's divine intervention and that there's a reason why you had to wait this long. Um, but I do think it's someone from the past that you're hearing from, someone that might have been fickle, someone that disappeared, someone that had mystery about them. Um, but it's also change. Some of you are connecting in a business sense with two or three other people. You'll be working with two or three other people and connecting for the purposes of your future. Okay, and you'll be making those discussions about assets or money, finances, resources, etc. during this time. But I think things will be solved because it's a, a temperance card is a very strong way to wrap up the month, Gemini. Uh, because it is symbolic of finding peace or finding balance or mediation. So if things have been imbalanced, say for example, if you've been arguing with a friend or a lover or people that you work with, there is balance coming and you will find some sort of equilibrium. Equilibrium with money, working hours with your past, healing from your past, finally gaining closure. Whatever it is and whichever way it relates to you, I do feel it's a very strong, positive way to wrap up the month. Okay, so that's quite powerful. Um, I will leave it at that though, Gemini. Just want to say thank you for joining me, watching and supporting the channel. Really, really does mean a lot. Um, please feel free to check out your other readings which are up on my channel. I have linked quite a few of them to this video. Please take care and hopefully we shall be in touch soon. Thanks again. Bye for now.